very short presentation <laughs> that we um we already shared this at the children's time last week and this is a shorter version so we went to arc encounter uh a week ago and that is the the arc behind us that's the uh, actual arc life-size uh, arc that they reconstructed and it called the place is called arc encounter in kentucky Uh, I want to start off with why this ark has to be created. I mean, built by Noah, um, um, commanded by God, because at the time it was so evil. It's, the scripture says every intention of thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That Lord was so um, sorry that he made man and all creatures and he decided to blot out everyone. Okay. These are examples of evilness that we encountered in the ark. All right. But Noah's family was saved because um, he found favor in the eyes of the Lord. He was blameless and a righteous man. He walked with God. Um, and he also had three sons. Um, so God revealed his plan to wipe away the wicked world to Noah and have him build the ark to save his family from judgment. God didn't give up on us. Um, so this is when God told Noah to make the ark out of gopher wood. The ark was 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, and 51 feet high, and it housed the several thousands of animals that God brought to Noah. Yeah, and it took 120 years. About. This is the reconstruction of Noah's Ark. Uh, my mom's really proud of this picture. <laughs> uh, these are some photos of us inside the Ark. These are cages that could be, that was probably used to um, house the animals. And these are some of the rooms that the Ark um, would have for the people. Workplace. Yeah, and workplace. This is what Noel learned that slimy animals and reptiles are kept in jars. <laughs> yes. Water. Yeah, with water so that they wouldn't dry out. Um, I learned that God's creation is beautiful. Riding a camel and touching a snake was really cool. They were all in the ark. Uh, yeah, outside the ark. Like, no, I mean like in real ark. Oh, in real ark, yes. Um, this is the door to the ark. Well, it would have been. Um, when God shut the door, it pictured his justice and mercy. The wicked world outside of the ark and door perished, but those inside were rescued. This points to Jesus. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he would be he will be saved. John um ten nine, um. And there was one door into the ark that saved Noah and his family from the flood. Similarly, there is only one door that can save us from eternal judgment. Jesus Christ is that door. The Bible states that now is the day of salvation by faith. Enter the only door that leads to eternal life today. Amen. Yeah.